Well, a huge match in WSL this weekend. The North London Derby will see Arsenal host a Tottenham on Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. You can watch it right here on Paramount+. Plus. And right now, we are absolutely thrilled to welcome in the captain of the Arsenal women, Kim Little. Hello, Kim. How are you today? Hello, I'm well. How are you all? We are fantastic. Um, all right, let's chat about this North London Derby. Um, always exciting when these two teams face off. How are you and the team feeling heading into this edition? Yeah, you know, we're excited. I think um, the North London Derby is always, always a special game and um, we lost the last one. So the, there's definitely a little more fire in the belly um, for Sunday. So, yeah, we're excited for it in a, another game at the Emirates, which we all love. Um, Kim, captain. Obviously, uh, I think you're doing an incredible job out there. You've got two gooners on the desk here. Um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about I was there uh, when you guys lost the match to West Ham and the feeling was that maybe uh, Arsenal had let the league slip, but a massive, massive win um, coming up against Manchester United. Do you think you have what it takes to now sort of, especially with uh, Chelsea and City sort of swapping points, do you think you have what it takes to, to sort of rise up on that table again and win the league this year? Yeah, I think we we believe we can. I think um, yeah, this year we've um, we've done really well against you know the top top four teams, um, which has been a great thing for us because there's been previous years where we've not done that. But while we've done that, we've also dropped points against teams um, that we should we should usually beat. So that's something that we've spoke a lot about since that that West Ham game, and um, we hope that we can sort of take that away from our our game leading into this last part of the season, and hopefully that will allow us to. Combined with those results against a big team, put us in a really good position to win the league. Kim, what about the crowds? Because when you look at the Emirates and there's 50,000 plus, how does that inspire you guys? How does that change the way that you play, the, the intensity? Um, because it looks just absolutely magical. Yeah, I think that, that is the right word to use, magical. I think um, we've got an incredible fan base here, um, whether we're playing you know, our other home ground, um, Meadow Park, there's a few thousand, they're always, in, you know, they're always incredible and loud and you can hear them, but obviously playing at the Emirates in front of, you know, over 50,000, 60,000 last week um, against United. Yeah, it's incredible and they're just, the occasions, I've obviously been at the club a long time and these occasions are becoming more frequent, um, which I think the club have done an incredible thing with and obviously it shows the, the growth of the game and, um, to, able, to be able to experience that as an athlete um, on more occasions is, yeah, very special. I think magical is definitely the right word, word to use to describe it. Kim, did you ever see that happening? I mean, you've played for the Seattle Reign, you, you've, play, you've played around the world. You come home, you're playing, playing in the UK. Did you ever think that you'd see 60,000 at the Emirates to watch you play? Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think it, it's not something I, you know, I thought about. I know obviously... I watched men's games when I was younger and there was that many people and um, it's not something I suppose when I was starting my career at 17, you know, we, we hardly had any there, you know, not even hundreds of people. So I don't think it was something that you first, I foreseen, but um, I think then everyone that's been driving the women's game forward, the popularity of the quality level of it and um, the investment everywhere, I think, you know, I think you could see the potential. I think I always saw the potential and it was just whether, you know, people were willing to see that, other people were willing to see that as well. And, um, look, you know, we're glad here at Arsenal. We, we, we know that everyone sees that and we're doing all the right things to try and grow the game even further. And I think that's shown in how many people are coming out to watch and then continuing to come as well. Kim, with crunch time coming up in, in the Super League, and, and you guys having an early exit from the Champions League, how much more pressure does that put on you guys to, to, to win this, this championship? Yeah, I think, you know, as a club, not staying in the Champions League here was, um, you know, a big blow. We wanted to obviously be in that and, and be in the, the top part of the game. So that was, yeah, that was pretty devastating, especially because it was so early on in the season before the league even started. So it felt like we'd done all the hard work and then it was just sort of taken away. Um, but I think we can learn from that. And, you know, obviously putting ourselves in in a, a place where we, we can win the league allows us to go further into the, the Champions League, which makes it easier come the start of the season because obviously the schedule and... And fixtures are so intense. So, yeah, we hope that that can put us in a good place um, by finishing as best we can in the league to, to go into the Champions League next year. That's our aim, of course. 
Um, Kim, uh, Arsenal obviously is one of those teams that I think has had a, a great history of having American players, and, and you have Emily Fox. Give us a little inti insight into what she's brought to this team in the sort of crunch time now uh, trying to win this league. Yeah, you're right. You know, we've had a few, few players here, Heo and Tobin and you now Emily as well. And yeah, she's added yeah a different um, element to her game at right back and has done incredibly well kind of slotting. And I think it's always hard coming in halfway through a season into a team and she's fitted in really well and and yeah, had some really positive games with us. And we're obviously missing her just now because she's away with the national team, but we're excited to have her back in, um, to the last part of the season. Uh, Kim, you mentioned Tobin Heath. Uh, she's you know, one of the greats that we've seen for the, the U.S. women here. Um, but she has said, I have never played with a better player than Kim Little. Uh, what does it mean to you when you hear your former teammates giving you accolades like that? Yeah, it's yeah, just nice. Just makes you <laughs> smile. I think um, when you, you know, I think t when it comes from teammates and people you sort of train with day in, day out and play with, and especially someone like Tobin, um, who's, you know, had an incredible career and is an incredible player. Um, yeah, it's always, yeah, very nice to hear that. Oh, man. Well, Kim, uh, the club said that they there's only a thousand tickets left for this match on, on Sunday, which is which is wild. I had uh, the incredible experience of going to the Emirates uh, just this past weekend. I was there for the Arsenal Newcastle game. It is just it's so special. And we've talked about the incredible crowds that we've seen for for your matches. And it's something that we're seeing globally, you know, the, the growth of, of the women's game. And I know that that's something that you are in, incredibly passionate about and you've partnered with the Adidas to advance diversity in the game. Um, you know, what can you tell us about some of the some of the, the ways in which you think that we can continue to grow the women's side of football? Yeah, I think um, I've, uh, my career spanned, obviously, the, the kind of growth of the game. So it's really special to me to see where it's come and now where it is. You know, I played at the Emirates, I think, when I was 17, 18, and there was a few thousand there. And and now, you know, on many occasions in a season, we're getting, you know, 50,000 plus, you know, selling out games. So, um, you know, I think it's just, it, it's the investment across the board, I think. Um, and with that, you know, we're we're... Arsenal, for example, is, you know, a club, you know, at the top, it's got so much history and um, it's got great foundations. So we have this ability to to do what we're doing now. And, um, you know, I think it took us some time to get there. I don't think it was all smooth, but, um, you know, we, we saw the potential and in, in the club are doing so many great things now to to keep that going and to drive drive not just this club forward, but the game. And I think that's something that we speak about a lot is we want to be, you know, a front runner in the women's game, but we also want to help everyone else come with it and I think that's the most important thing too is having that kind of not equality but balance throughout the game there needs to be investment at all levels um you know to grow every team relative to it and I think that's really important for the sustainability of the game and um you know I hope that as a club we can we can keep doing that um yeah, and I think it's just exciting to be involved in and to see that growth and to see the passion, not just from the players and the people working within the game, but just, you know, the supporters and the kind of the want for it. You know, you can see that, that people want to watch and they, they want to follow. And I think that's, you know, it makes it so, so exciting to be involved in. Kim, this might not apply to you because you've been at Arsenal for, for so long and people in, in London probably already know you. You're, you're a legend of, of, of the club. But the, the yeah, England's win at the Euro... It feels like it was a watershed moment for women's soccer. I know you're from Scotland. Nonetheless, you play for an English team. Um, do you feel like, for example, like your status or maybe some of your teammates' status in just football in general has, has changed? How has your, your personal life uh, changed from, from, from that moment onwards? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite low-key and obviously, I'm, yeah, not English, but I think... Um, yeah, it was an incredible moment for the game. Obviously, playing here in England, and um, while while the girls won the Euros, and obviously so many of my teammates as well doing so well there, I think you could see it, um, especially with our players, um, Leah and Beth, and then obviously Les Alessia is here now. Um, you can see the, you know, you know, young girls and people watching us are you know, look up to all these players and especially them because of their success at the Euros. And I think you need those moments. I think. Um, that's what kind of triggers things and catalyzes things to, to, to grow. And I think that Euros moment here in England um, was definitely one of those moments. I think it was just sitting there kind of brewing, but it just needed this kind of one thing to kind of get the game going here in terms of the league. And I think that definitely was it. And um, yeah, and then it's just, you know, adding to that. It's like not sitting in 
thinking that's where it wants to stay. And I think after that, that win from England, it's, I think people have been doing the right things to keep it growing. And I think that's the most important thing now. It's just, it's not sitting and just being reactive. It's definitely now being proactive. Now all the foundations are there. Kim, final question for me. I know you got the FAWSL Cup semi against Aston Villa. You got the North London Derby. You got Chelsea on March 15th, but May 5th at City, you think that game is for the title? <laughs> yeah, that, that's for the title. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure I can look that far ahead. I've not even thought about that yet, actually. But um, I do know always going to City away is um, a tough game for us. So I think we need to, yeah, be quite, we also need to be focused game to game. I think that's obviously a general thing to say, but that's so important for us just now is we need to take each game as it comes and just get the points on the board. And then, you know, we hope that come, come those big moments against the, the top teams that that can, can be a great occasion um, for us. Potentially. Well, we're supporting you. Yeah, start by beating yeah, Tottenham. Let's go. Uh, we need to beat them first. <laughs> Such an honor to uh, to chat with you today. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Best of luck this weekend and uh, the rest of the Thank season. You. Thank you. Thanks for having me.